Mickey Option Trader back at you with another look at some stock charts and technical analysis. See if we can figure out where the heck this crazy market's going this next week. Um, well, uh, let's talk about Friday real quick. Friday, I uh, uh, wrote on Thursday blog if you read it. Um, basically, what I was looking for was a uh, scenario A would be a drop down, stall out, and then a huge drop. Uh, scenario B is a uh, drop down, oversold, and then a bounce up. Uh, we did do that. We bounced down 50, finished in the green, like I thought is very possible. However, I expected, to be honest, more of like a 100, 150 point drop, and then a strong rally, and a finish like at 20, 30, 40, somewhere in there. So, you know, not quite as strong as I was looking for, but it's similar scenario. I didn't trade at all. Uh, nothing set up. None of my triggers triggered the way I wanted them to. So, I just sat on the sidelines. In fact, I turned off charge pretty early, and Took the rest of the day off. So anyway, we're back at it now to see what we can see for this upcoming week. And we're going to start with the VIX right here. This is a weekly chart. We, I, I spent a lot of time looking at weekly charts this week because I want to see, kind of get a big picture again. I looked at monthly, weekly um, to see where we're at. And I'll do another monthly one next week when we start a new month. So, But this is weekly. Here's VIX. Here's this huge megaphone pattern that we've been watching. I actually, in all honesty, I moved this line a little bit to match down here um, because uh, when I pulled it out to the weekly, it didn't line up quite as good as I would like to see. I'd be happier with this if this was a black candle. I've been tempted to move it up here, but I, I, I'm going to leave it where it is for now. We'll see what we can see. You can see we rallied up hard this 2958, 558 line, 2955 area. Um, this area is offering a lot of resistance, obviously. I did think the 22, uh, 21 area would offer a lot more support than it did, and that's right down here, this 21 line. We did not. We just broke right through that darn thing. And if we go back to the daily charts, you can see it even better. Here's a megaphone pattern. We just broke right through that 21 line like it wasn't even there. I expected us to bounce off, at least stall up for a day or two, something, before heading back down. I think there's obvious support right down in here in the $16 level. Uh, if not, uh, we're going to talk looking at the bottom of this megaphone pattern, which is way, way down there. Um, you know, by the time we get there, it'll be down a $15 range or something. I don't think we're going to get there. I think if we continue dropping, we will stall out in the $16 area or something like that. Um, I imagine we'll see a turnaround probably... For no reason, somewhere around in here, whatnot. So that's what I would be thinking. But if it does drop, those are some areas of support to look at. If you look at the Dow on a five-year daily, let's, in fact, let's start with the weekly, shall we? We look at the Dow on the weekly. You can see if I take these drawings off here, <clears throat> just a clear hard rally here. Um, just a clear hard rally uh, was broken right here. A trend line. If we drew one from here to here, you can see it'd be broken right here. Real strong break which usually uh, signifies strength in the move. And that's what those red lines are right here. Okay, so here's your upline. Real strong break through it, follow through. Now we're coming back up to retest. And you've got this long-term downtrend that we're running into right here. You can see where I drove, drew it from the top of here to the top of here, all the way down. And we can see we've already broken it once, so it's not going to be super strong, but we didn't really close above it. Uh, and we're hitting up against it again. So that's something to watch for here. And then we've got this. I don't think this will be super strong resistance, but I think it'll be some resistance. Maybe not Superman, maybe Wonder Dog type resistance here. So look for us to meet some resistance up in this 10, 5, 521 area. Um, either way, um, coming down here. And if it holds, that'll be interesting. If we do not break above it and break these highs, to me that'll be extremely interesting because that'll show this downtrend line is really in play um, and it's something to be contended with uh, and maybe you know taken over a little bit we did not have great volume on friday i expected a lot more volume and some selling so let's go back to the daily here and see where we're at so you can see it on the daily even better boom coming up into there I'll leave the long-term downtrend. You can see us just come up and kissing it right here. We'll zoom right in on it. So we got a, like a spinning star or a spinning top. Uh, just watch this area. I'm going to watch it this week and see if it offers up any resistance. Friday we did have, for the week the volume is down on Friday, it was popped up a little bit. Okay, so nothing spectacular, that's for sure. Uh, SPX, very similar. I've got two downtrends here. One off the tops on the weekly and one off the uh, closes. So let's look back at the weekly real quick just to get an idea of what I'm talking about. So you can see it here going off the, the closes and you can see we breached it here. So it's not super strong. I just left it in there for kicks. This is off the top on the weeklies and it coincides here. Uh, if it holds and if it's true, uh, we got a couple things to look at. The 1120 is a 50% fib. Don't forget that. Um, I thought I'd offer a lot more support than I did back here, but we did break through it, but not convincingly, obviously, and we're back down through. Um, and then we have our strong move up this week. Uh, but, you know, 
I, I don't know. I, we've got this pennant forming now that we're going to have to look at. And if we go back into the dailies, you can see this. If you take the red line here and the blue line here, you've kind of got a nice long-term pennant formation going on here from down to here all the way back over here we could see you know this move back up into here and if this holds that'd be interesting we'll be looking for a breakout pretty soon uh, right into this area here somewhere break down break up you know and that's when we're going to really be looking at our indicators right now which are all pointing up okay everything's pointing up so that's just something to consider uh, maybe here this week is possible if we have some big moves coming up this week and then uh, the Nasdaq of course if we pull this back out onto the weekly chart, you can see that we uh, took out some of this. I'm going to turn these studies off just so we can see, get a better look at it. Took out this one that I thought uh, would be would offer obvious, uh, so obvious uh, resistance. If we pull it back on the daily, it'll look even better. I don't know why I went to weekly on here. Boom, boom. All right, so this is where I thought we'd get our first set of resistance. We did not. I thought the second would be at 2265. I could easily see us moving up here. We could either drop or find, start finding support in this area as well. You can see there's a little wick beneath it there. So it had something, just not as much strength as I thought, okay? Um, but again, we've got a long-term downtrend line that could come into play. We've got resistance here that could come into play, okay? Either way. So let's look at the, in light of this, let's look at the cues. So we're going to look at the cues, and then we'll look at the spiders next kind of get an idea so cues look at this doji right here it's more of a spin top type doji here so very indecisive day very indecisive day not huge volume not huge volume in fact if you look at it in context here you can kind of see we've had a volume decline so basically we've got a volume divergence here on the on the cues problem with divergences they can last for a long time I mean this could go way down to here but it's something to keep an eye on and if you turn on the studies they're all pointing up right now not in line with this divergence but that's why I have a hard time uh, believing in the strength of this rally just because there's no real volume pops to it and all the volume pops still have all comes with big with big down days the 20 moving averages cross beneath we're near the top Bollinger Band I'd expect this to stall out at least a little bit for now before continuing on if it wants to and then the SPY let's look at that bad boy same thing you got this big old megaphone pattern we've been watching for the while I'm going to turn these studies off just so you can get a better picture. There is no clear volume divergence here. In fact, the volume here is moving up a little into the up move. Not huge, but it's moving up a little into the up move. So there's a little more strength in this. you got a clear megaphone pattern here, which we rallied off the bottom of. We've broken through this high here, which I was watching. I expected to offer some resistance in here. Nothing. We took that out. Piece of cake. we still got this area up here. This is where this gap is top of this gap is the gaps already been filled by this wick but it's still probably going to offer up something up in this area this little 11150 area something like that uh, for a stall out um, but like I said there's a little bit more volume increasing into this up move you had this uh, hangman dragonfly doji that didn't offer any turnaround at all in fact it got engulfed the next day bullish engulfing so it just is same type of thing as accused um, the 20 moving average is below the 50 and we're reaching up and t touching the top of the Bolger band which usually you know we could slide right along the top of it like this like we did with anything else let's look at a couple stocks XSD not really a stock it's more of an ETF okay yeah I get it all right but what I want to do is just show it to you this is a weekly check this out so you've got we got our shoulder we got a mini shoulder drop down we had this rally this channel we're watching there's another shoulder another mini shoulder and then a shoulder here so I'll be watching this right here I imagine we're gonna see a little bit of resistance here at this 4854 line but I wouldn't be surprised to see this pop through and if we do this thing could rally pretty stinking hard so you want might want to watch some of the semiconductors one more I've got time to show you AAPL Apple all I want to say about this is if I put this down to a 60 day chart and 60 minutes it looks like a little bit of a bull flag to me here got a nice pennant nice wedge down here on a rise looks like a little bit of bull flag so I think this is gonna pop out to the upside on Apple anyway so watch out we've taken out a lot of the recent highs uh, but we are coming up against some minor resistance right now be interesting to see what happens next week and be interesting if the volume returns I still am a firm believer if we see a lot of volume we're gonna see some selling this will be the AK option trader sign off trade well and prosper I'm going home, but to the